Speaking of water in southern Louisiana, it's everywhere and it's only getting higher. But a new grant from the National Science Foundation wants to mitigate the effects of rising sea levels while boosting the energy industry in Louisiana. Tiger TV's investigative team has more on the historic project. Louisiana is already one of the best states for the energy industry, being the third largest exporter with the second highest concentration of chemical engineers in Baton Rouge. Louisiana is thriving in the industry with one disadvantage. Now the way we do it, we emit tons of carbon dioxide. And so that carbon dioxide, um, it's, it, it can trap heat and so it leads to climate change and so that's a problem. Even with the success, Louisiana ranks third to last in poverty rate at 18%. But now the state has the opportunity to double its revenues from the chemical industry and sustainable fuels while adding 500,000 jobs in the process. The National Science Foundation sees this as a way to uplift regions that have largely been neglected. And our goal is for each engine to ultimately be able to put its region on the map as a national leader and potentially a global leader in a particular technological space. Uh, really is about trying to be able to invest in regions and communities that we have left behind as a nation. The energy transition could boost the economy and the environment. With rising sea levels, an estimated two feet of water is already expected. But if nothing is done about it, Louisiana could expect up to seven feet of higher sea levels by the end of the century. And we are in a position to move forward and help mitigate those problems and to solve some of those problems. We can make a real major impact, and we need to, because in addition to actually trying to solve the problems, Louisiana, because of its location right on the Gulf Coast, is going to be directly impacted right now. Fuel aims to have zero carbon emissions by 2050 and keep Louisiana dry for as long as possible. Will Brockoff and Miguel Paredes Reyes, Tiger TV News. Tune into tomorrow's News Beat for the final installment of our investigative series where we talk about how students can get involved in the energy transition.